So today we are talking all about how you can earn 2023 as your year. So what we're going to be sharing today is what the Chinese calendar says about this year and the symbolism behind that, what it means for you and where you should channel your focus and energy this year so that you can grow internally, that you can grow on your journey of personal growth and just become very emotionally aware and emotionally intelligent with how to react and respond to other people and how to treat yourself and really create healing and awareness and opening in yourself this year. So let's start with the fact that this year is what the Chinese calendar refers to as the year of the water rabbit. So the water rabbit is really interesting. The rabbit is a sign that is thought of to bring luck. So the rabbit brings luck. It's charming. It is really good at communication. And of course, it is speedy. So it's about quick decisions, quick insights, moving fast, moving with passion, moving with charm. The charm part really talks about relationships. So how we're nurturing relationships, letting go of past, working on our negotiation skills, especially in business, and then how we can look at how we respond to people instead of react to people. So being very empathetic and compassionate and taking time to reflect, reflect on any situation that may be difficult, taking time to understand how different opinions may result from the situation, understanding everyone's perspectives before you respond to the situation. So be very emotionally aware this year, not to just explode and say the first thing that's on your mind. Jumping to conclusions is not something you want to be doing this year. This year, it's all about reflecting and responding first. Then the water element. The water element is such a beautiful element because if you think of water, there's so many symbols and meanings that we could attach to water but some of the symbols I'm going to be talking about today are things like using water in your meditation, in your prayer time, in your self-care routine, using water to cleanse, to energize, and just to feel that sort of living like water. So think of the ocean when you think of living like the element of water. So the ocean can be tough at times. The ocean can also be gentle. The ocean has currents that it can go with the current. It can change the current. There are sometimes waves. So we want to learn how to ride the wave, move with the current, enjoy the moments of calm and ride the wave when there isn't calm. So it's such a beautiful element and we can take such stunning symbolism from that. So think about that. And then putting those things together, what does that mean? Okay, so putting the water rabbit together, what you want to focus on this year is forgiveness, letting go of anything from old relationships or old situations or fights where it's time for you to just let go of that and move forward with understanding and compassion, reflection and response instead of reaction and holding grudges. And remember that when we hold a grudge, when we stay angry at somebody, it actually punishes us. It doesn't punish the other person. They carry on with their lives. So let's no longer sit with that punishment on ourselves and continue to drink that poison. Let's let that go. And that's that's a beautiful symbol for the water again. We're going to cleanse out any of those negative behaviors. So again, this year, because the rabbit is charming, you want to work on your negotiation skills in business and your leadership skills. So this year is all about nurturing relationships and leadership skills. Now, the year of the rabbit is also thought to bring a lot of luck and creative thinking. So there is a condition here. So some of the articles I've read have said that it does bring luck, it does bring creativity, it does bring success, money, love, passion, joy, all these things are what the water rabbit year attracts if you are correctly in line with your life purpose. So what that means is if you've been feeling a little bit confused, if you were planning on going with this year and just sort of floating with it and seeing how it's going, let's not do that. A good time now would be to create your vision board right now. So Take some time today and sit with the vision board of how do I want this year to go? What am I aligning myself with this year? And try not to create a vision board based on external validation. And what that means is try not to create a vision board full of goals that are goals that are sort of motiv motivated by other people and what they want, what outside people want. What do you want? And a good way to look at this if you're feeling a little bit confused is to attach it to your core values. Is your vision, 
Is your vision in line with your core values? Is it creating excitement and passion and joy? Because that's what it should be creating. And once you align with that and your behaviors and actions align with that, so the water rabbit year will reward you for that. So look at that as well. And then if you add the numbers 2023 20, together, we get the number seven, which is super important because the number seven is described either as a lightning bolt or even as a cliff face. And it's all about creating insight and awareness. So this year, you want to make sure that you are taking time to really focus on your emotional awareness. Really, how are people behaving around you? How are you behaving around other people? How are you showing up emotionally? And how are you processing emotions? Now, some of you may be more spiritual. Some of you may be more religious. That's totally okay. What you want to focus on this year is building in whatever faith you have. So this year, if you have an underdeveloped faith or an underdeveloped spirituality and emotional awareness, you're going to feel alone, quite lonely. However, if you are in balance and you are feeling str strong in that area, you will feel very much in balance with everything around you and at one. So make sure that you are taking time daily to build on your spirituality through meditation or your prayer or your faith, doing your affirmations, incantations or your Bible verses, whatever it is that builds your faith or your spirituality, that is something that you want to focus on this year so that you can receive those insights. Now with those insights, 2023, the water rabbit number seven, all of that together is said to attract incredible opportunities to your life. Now, I've said this in one of my podcast episodes before. When it comes to opportunities, an old saying is grab absolutely every opportunity that comes your way. Now, that's a sure way to get burnout. We don't want to grab every opportunity because not every opportunity is meant for us. It's not always in alignment with our life purpose. So knowing what that vision is and being very clear with that and your core values and working on creating expansion in your emotional awareness all of that together is going to form a beautiful thing for you to tunnel vision into which opportunities are meant for you so that you can focus all your energy on the right opportunity that's going to take your life to the next level. Now, if this sort of information was really interesting for you, if it's something that you thought, geez, I'd really like to know more about, we actually have a seminar coming up on how to own 2023, where we're going to be teaching you about how to control your emotional state. So when you get into a very bad, low emotional state, how you can shift that really quickly. It's an amazing and powerful tool. So instead of having bad days, you might have a bad moment, which is a real pleasure if you can think of going forward in a year where the environment may shift you. Having a strong tool to use to shift your emotional state is gonna be awesome. We're also gonna be sharing with you how to process difficult emotions, so that when an obstacle comes along on your vision path or on your path to aligning with your goals, if an obstacle comes up, we're going to show you how to process those difficult emotions so you can keep strong on your journey. We're also going to be showing how you can use the information that we've spoken about today to really maximize your personal potential and expand your journey of personal growth. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then go check out our website, our Instagram, or any of our social media access points where you can go and join this journey. Have a great 2023. I can't wait to see how you expand and grow this year.